Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, I'm not going to lie to you, my videos have been lacking lately in um, production quality, not, not even so much production quality, they've been lacking mostly in content. I don't really have anything interesting to say because nothing interesting is happening to me, but I still want to make videos so that you guys know what, where I am and what I'm doing. Um, but it's, you know, I, I keep talking about the same two things in every video. I, keep, I talk about um, Metal Gear 4 and I talk about the 8 8 Gathering and sometimes work which is so wonderful and I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing about those but I finally have something new to tell you that I'm really excited about for those of you who don't know I went to college to be a pastor and I graduated with a, um, a degree in educational ministries and a minor in Bible so uh, the hiring season for the Wesleyan Church is um, like late spring into the summer like that's when they hire people so that's the only time of the year that really churches do their hiring so I put my resume out there to the district superintendents of the districts I wanted to work in back in around it was the week after Easter I sent them out and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and I haven't really vocalized this to anybody but inside my head I'm freaking out I haven't heard anything from anybody yet nothing the fact that it's freaking at the end of of June and no one has called me, nobody wants to hire me, no one's even considering me for the for the open positions, just absolutely freaks me out. I don't want to live at home for another year. I don't. I'm sorry. Call me a bad person. I don't want to do it. So, you know, inside my head, pretty much every day I had that little little panic attack. And I have to talk myself down every day because every day I don't get a phone call. And it's it's been stressful. Just this like passive stress that like, oh, every day that you don't get a call is another day and you should get more and more concerned. However, I've been passing my time by spending more time with my friends. Uh, I went out to a movie on Monday night. What did we see? Um, oh, I saw Forgetting Sarah Marshall. And uh, we came back and I checked my email and here's a guy who says to me, hey, I'm interested in knowing more about you. You come very highly recommended. Um, your mentor has forwarded your resume to me. We like what we see. I'd love to get in touch with you. Fantastic. Absolutely great. I can't, like, I'm thrilled to death. Um, and I, it is actually in the Philadelphia area. So... I'm just so excited. I go downstairs and I tell my parents, I'm like, Mom, Dad, you know, guess what? And this is like 1 o'clock in the morning, so my dad's already asleep. So I say to my mom, Mom, guess what? You know, I, I heard about this church. They're really interested in hiring me, whatever. My mom's like, where is it from? I said, oh, outside Philly. She goes, oh. So I've been annoyed with her that she hasn't been happy for me, which drives me crazy because it's like, I understand you don't want your son to move away. I understand as a parent, that's got to be really tough. But at the same time, can you put that aside just for a second to at least pretend to be happy for me? <sighs> Anyways, so I talked to this guy this morning, this uh, the senior pastor of this church, and he seems like he loves what he has heard about me. He loves my resume. Totally is interested in hiring me. His board has a copy of my resume. And um, a phone interview has been set up. I probably shouldn't even talk about this in a public setting because it's it probably isn't a wise idea, but I'm thrilled to death and I feel like this could go well for me. So I'm really excited. I have a phone interview in a week or two and uh, hopefully shortly after that I will have a face-to-face -face interview and um, yeah, following all of this, they, they said if, if I got the position they'd want me to start um, the, beginning of, the beginning of August. Now, I don't think that I could um, I could um, do a phone interview the middle of July, a face-to-face -face interview later in July, and then still be able to start at the church at the beginning of August. So, I probably wouldn't go to the middle of August, which means I can still do the 888 gathering. So, this is pretty exciting. I'm thrilled to death. And, because, you know, it's scary. It's scary throwing your resume out there. And, you know, in July saying, I have no idea where I'm going to be, or in June saying, I don't, I have no idea where I'm going to be in September. That's frightening. You don't know what state, what time zone. Nothing. It's just the absolute, 
n not knowing. And everyone says to me, well, you know, you know, wait on the Lord and He will tell you where to go. And that's great advice. And I appreciate that advice. But I'm a very flawed person. So that's not hard. That's not easy for me. I like, I am sporadic, but I do like to know, have a general idea of where I'm going. And this is just kind of like, I can't see more than a couple months in front of me. Um, and at least now I know that my resume is being looked at by people. And even if I don't get this job, I'm encouraged that I that I'm gonna find something and that it's not my my resume isn't a turn off to people and that people like what they read when they read my resume so I'm just excited I might have something coming up and um, and also that it won't cancel out the 8 8 gathering because I if it comes down to getting a job right now or going to the 8 8 gathering sorry YouTube you're gonna lose I apologize I would be getting a job um, so, yes, the fact that I can do it all really makes me happy. So, that's all I have for right now. Sorry, um, I'm fighting a cold, so the contacts are gone for the day, and uh, and I sound a little congested. Don't worry about me, though. Um, I'm, I'll be good as new in a day or two, and I'm thrilled to death. So, it'll be great. I don't work at all the next three days, so hopefully more videos will ensue. Thank you all for sticking with me while I've been putting up one video a week that hasn't been very good. So, um... I'm going to do my best to do more, but I uh, I make no promises. So thank you all for bearing with me, for subscribing, for staying subscribed, and for being awesome. So thank you so much, guys. Bye.